everyone, my name is Chris Fernandez. I'm with AME International, I'm a repair technician here, and this is your Maintenance Minute. Typical call that we get from customers, 55 ton ram, 100 ton ram in particular, the complaint is, hey, my piston extend it, but it won't fully retract. Ends up looking like this. We've got a stuck piston. It's one of two causes that happens here. Uh, the first is the coupler is not fully engaged. Good troubleshooting technique. What you want to do before you start any kind of maintenance procedures, take some compressed air. And what you want to do is clean out the threading internally. The other issue that we run into is if the jack has been used as your typical jack stand. These rams are meant for one purpose and that's to lift and lift only. So once you lift the load, you want to put cribbing, drop the load off of the ram, thus preventing the issue of the stuck piston. The maintenance procedure for this, once your hose is hooked up, this coupler is not fully engaged, I'm doing this by hand, I can almost seat the coupler. If I were to run this right now, I'm gonna get a stuck piston. You can see here, there's a small gap. Essentially what happens, if I run this right now, the way the coupler works is there's two balls that touch. Fluid can only go in one direction. For this to be fully engaged, this has to be completely tight. I can't get this any tighter than what it is right now. Under pressure, 10,000 PSI in this hose, you're gonna need the following tools. A one and a quarter inch wrench and a large pair of channel locks. So what you wanna do is on the hose side, take the one and a quarter inch wrench and take the channel locks on the coupler side, you're gonna grip down and you're gonna continue to tighten until you hear somewhat of a pop. Now, once the coupler is fully engaged, you should be able to get retraction. I'm gonna extend this. Another maintenance tip, make sure your shutoff valve is fully open. The only time you should really close this is during storage purposes or if for whatever reason you need to take your hose off of the ram to put on a bead breaker. At that point you want to close this shutoff valve fully. That being said, you want to make sure your pump has enough fluid to run your bead breaker. That is another issue entirely, but we'll get to that at another maintenance tip. So now that it's fully extended, I have it pressurized up to 10,000 PSI. If this coupler is fully engaged, I should get full retraction. So I'm going to retract now. Slow, steady retraction. That means the coupler is fully engaged. If I were to undo this right now, this would stop. So we'll watch the retraction. More than likely, because I use the tools to tighten this down, I'm not going to be able to loosen it by hand. So have that in mind. Nine times out of 10, you should be able to, if the threading is clean, you should be able to use your fingers, tighten up that coupler to the hose. If not, if the threading is dirty, you're more than likely you're gonna need the tools. I have full retraction, it's take another minute or so. And this is the general speed for retraction, so it's another call that we get. It, hey, my piston, it retracts extremely slow. This is the speed. I'm using an electric pump right now. Very quiet, very fast, very efficient. It's fully disengaged. Now, if I try to do this, undo this by hand, see I can't do it. Again, one and a quarter inch wrench, pair of channel locks, like torque, once I had that first thread broken, I should be able to release this by hand. All right, your maintenance tip. On the coupler, if you get dirt or any kind of debris in here, your preventative maintenance, you wanna take either compressed air or a rag and try to wipe down these thread, this threading. Same thing on the end of your hose. You wanna make sure the threading is clean, uh, free of debris. This is one of the major issues when hooking up the hose to the coupler, any kind of dirt or debris, this will fail in achieving that full tightness. If you're clear of dirt and debris, you should be able to tighten this fully by hand. And you know you're fully engaged when the hose end starts to spin a little bit. There should be zero gap right here. If you have a gap, you're gonna need one and a quarter inch wrench a large pair of channel locks on the hose side, one and a quarter inch wrench. On the coupler side is where you're gonna use the channel locks. If you have to use these tools, chances are to take it apart, you're gonna need the tools. If done correctly and you do this by hand, you should be able to release it by hand once uh, the piston is fully retracted. The other preventative maintenance, 
CD411, little metal dust cover, attaches right to the coupler end. This is perfect for you guys out in the field, keeps the dirt and debris out of the coupler. If you don't have this, we have plastic versions, I highly recommend using the metal version. When you're ready to use the tool again, unscrew the coupler end, it's on a ball swivel, just let it hang straight down. My name is Chris Fernandez, this has been your AME Maintenance Minute. If you got any questions, give us a call at 352-799-1111 or shoot us an email at repairs at ameintl.net. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Thanks and have a good one, we'll see you at the next one.